Shall I put this face in the chest cavity? Why? Oh god, no. No, 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 no. Oh. That's grotesque. Hmm. Is that, I don't know, like the head of a... Maybe that's some form of preservation? They're trying to build a vessel to hold, like, the mind of, I don't know, important people, elders, some sort of, you know, after death you can be reborn and, like, have your consciousness plugged into these different bodies and take control of it or something? I don't know. Ugh. God. Oh god. That's what I was supposed to do? That's not a head, that's a whole body. What the fuck? Oh my god. Ew. That's so gross. And what did I even accomplish there? Do I need something from you? You. Oh. You going here? Why? Ew, what the fuck? Their juice is what fills up these batteries? Keys? I guess they're batteries. Ew. Oh my god. That is so disgusting. So now that it's charged, <laughs> what does that mean? The thing is life juice. Um. Yeah, obviously I need to charge another one. I guess we just plug it back in there and go do the second one? Do I even need to put it in that creature? Like, can I not just break it here? Oh, I don't think it lets me. No. I don't really understand why it needs to be put into this thing. Hope this one isn't any different from the last. It's different from the last. Oh, this one's got a real big anger. <laughs> We're gonna have to fight it. Fuck. Oh, God. No. Oh, they, they have a- Oh, Jesus. Wait, wait, I don't think that did anything. Let me go to shotgun. Do you have a weak point? There's your weak point. Force them to fire so much they have to reload. Oh my god, the- ah! 
The design is so cool. Grotesque, unstable. You can see they're not comfortable in this body because they've just suddenly been put into this body that's been just like bolted and taped together, metaphorically speaking. Of course it's not comfortable to control. Actually be better for this. I don't need range. Ow. Back up. Yeah, I gotta take out the other side too. I think we're basically depleting its energy. It's like energy sacks. Ooh. Should do it? Maybe? No, it's still getting up. Wait, it looks like it's protecting its center. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it's running out of energy. Please run out of energy. Oh! Yeah, okay, no, we won't range for this one now. Oh! at some point. I think I missed. Okay, that hit. That hit. Ah, shit. Yeah, I need to bait out the melee attack. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, 
I'm not sure if it'll... Will it still use melee if, yeah, if it has ammo? I might need to... Get it to use up its ammo again. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ow. Yeah, we need to get it to use its hand to try to swipe at me. It used the gun to try to swipe at me that time, but its hand is the one keeping its center open. That is so gross. Finally ran out of energy and it's just... Oh my god. Alright. Now we have a... Grenade launcher. I guess. Ugh. Did it bring out another body? Maybe I'll go check that out, but let me just get this in here first. Actually, I think it's going to close this and not let me through. Once I put the, the body in. Spewed out a couple. They just have more and more of these things they can just queue up whenever they want. That only that only gave me half of one. Hey. Ew. Can I still switch? No, I I can't switch my tool. It's it's like frozen into place. Just like we saw with these tendrils. Tendrils have grown over it. Does this thing have any ammo? Oh shit. It does. Better be precious with these rounds. I literally can't switch to anything else right now. Uh oh. Can at least take the rest of the pistol rounds. Well, two of them. And fill this thing up a bit. That was such a cool boss fight. That was amazing. The way it managed to be a boss fight while also being so true to the aesthetic and the feel of everything else in this game and telling me more about the world and the story and what's going on here. Just, ah. Oh. Fantastic. Okay, I guess I probably do something with this. Hmm. I mean, do I just like lob a shot in there? Sweet. 
What happens when I use all my ammo, though? Like, what if I used all my ammo and didn't figure this out? Then, then what? <laughs> Alright, let's hope this one is less aware of what's going on when I plug them in. No, this one's just as angry. Okay, but I only have two shots. What what happens when I run out of those shots? supposed to do? I was thinking I could just shoot it, like, lob it into its back inside of it. I don't know if I did that or if just one explosion just killed it. It has nothing to do with the fact that I shot it in the back. Ew! Here's the other half. You didn't put the leg in. Oh, I got it. I only have one. Whoa. body just keeps changing. I know I have the energy thing. I know that. But I'm really curious. Given that if you step on the pedal and lob a grenade in there, I have one grenade left. I want to lob one in here. exactly sure what that's saying. They don't know what to do or they can't do because they're covered in all these tendrils. I mean, I probably should go... I probably should just go plug in the energy thing. Because over there is a, a whole thing. So, what's this? Oh. Right. I guess I need to get rid of this thing. Before I can actually use my hands, really. Let's check over here first. Oh, we should be able to open that. Is my thing full? I think it has one slot. One slot. Actually, we could heal. Oh, 
Right, we can't open that because we can't use our hands. What's this? Oh, it's that. Wait. Ah! Wait. Can we. What's going on? Um. Oh. This thing, the point of it, I guess, or at least how we're using it, is to like break away these tendrils slash bark slash whatever the hell it is growing around us momentarily. But then, I don't know, the creature doesn't like it or, the th or just, you know, all the stabby things themselves hurt you over time. You just kind of bleed out a bit and then it grows back. So the point of this is just to clear up your hand long enough for you to do something. Okay, well then... That means I can go back there and wait, no, no, it doesn't clear it from my hand long enough to put the battery in. I can only use things immediately around me, I think. Oh. It's more of those like biomechanical bodies. There's a five dot door or switch or whatever in there. I think that might be how I get ammo. You grab it from the back. Yeah, that's where I grabbed ammo when it was reloading, when I fought it. So that's what that is. That's to grab ammo. That's your source of unlimited ammunition. Okay. So we got a second here to grab ammo. Oh, it's such a cool mechanic. Body's always changing. You have a little control over it, but very little. And everything hurts. Oops. Gotta hold it down longer. Okay. I'm clearly supposed to blow something up. Oh. We're just supposed to look for a clearing between all these things so I can lob it all the way in there. That could have been the opportunity, maybe. Wait. No, it's gonna be now. Oh, it's the programmer door opener to the five stars. But yeah, gotta do this again because it's already grown back. Oh, Christ. Just double checking. Yeah, didn't do anything more. We are going to be taking a lot of damage from here on out.
Now we can open that door. There's a couple other ways to go, though. Right. Is there anything around to clear my hand? There is not. <laughs> right. <laughs> Maybe I'll have enough time. There we go. Just enough time. I feel like I'm going to be sitting in this thing, and I don't like that. Well, at the moment, I'm not going to be doing anything. I think it's going to be a real stretch. But let's try. Actually, hold on. I want to see. Is this one closer? Like, there's... Yeah, there's this one, too. Is that any closer? I think they're pretty much the same distance. I want to try just going straight out. Not to the place we just were at, but... Well, you'll see. Oh, no. I don't think there's time to get that one. I'm not even sure if there's time to get the other one. That one. There we go, there we go. Oh, is this going to extract the cre- Oh my god! Um... I think I'm finally getting rid of this thing. Oh, we're doing some surgery. Holy shit. I fucking love this. This is so fucked up. And I love that this thing's been with us for like half the game, just part of our body, and now we're extracting it. And oh, that is just so cool and grotesque. Oh my god, look at it. 
Oh, look at it. It's got human parts, but like the whole middle section is kind of just like bone and... I don't know what else. Oh, so that's what using does. Yeah, maybe not the best place to target. Maybe the head? Wait, that's our head. Is that its head up there? Oh, that's- no, 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 don't do that, Jesus, you're gonna poke my eye. Oh, that worked! Oh my god. Uh Yeah, I'm torn wide open. Literally holding in my intestines. Jesus Christ. Oh, I lost my my best friend in the whole world. Now I have no one to carry my things. Holy shit. I love this game. I think I just lost all my weapons, though, because it's like tail or something was my weapons, right? Ugh. Yeah, I can't really do much but stumble around now. Oh, Christ. Oh, nothing attacks me. I'm a bit vulnerable. Hmm. All right, what do you do? Oh man, I don't want to look down and see what's happening to our guts now that both our hands are in this thing. Uh. Yeah, go hold him again, there you go. This is where we first came into the place. So we need to get this energy cell to that other, uh, I don't know, incubator thing. Yeah, this thing. We're almost there. Now what it's gonna do? No idea. 
Hope it fixes our body. Oh, do we, uh, I think this is going to fix our body. I'm not exactly sure how, though, but it's quite clear that we're about to be operated on. Or just have our body swapped. Or we're just going to get connected. I think our brain might just get connected to the thing above us, just like everyone else here. Oh, is it... I don't, is that ex... <laughs> is that sucking our dick? Yep, we're getting connected. Wired in. Just like everyone else. Swapped our consciousness into one of one of the like incubator bodies. S switch. Oh, we can. Swap between the two. Oh my god. Um. Oh yeah, they're still working away. How's uh how's it going? What do we do now? Do we need to make a baby or something? Right, we don't have the hand control thing. I don't think this one does either. curious if we both have to stand on it. I'm pretty sure one of us has to operate the controls, though. Yeah.
Oh. This is where we get the hand things. Is it going to close again if I step off this, though? Yeah. And if I disconnect? Um... Don't we need a third person, then? Hey, you ready to go? I don't know if they're going anywhere. Oh. Oh my god, you. They need to be left on the weight or something, right? I want to see if this one can get the hand tool again, uh, as well, I mean. Yes.
So I didn't cut anything out there. It really just takes you to the main menu. It doesn't even show the credits at the end of the game, which is really bizarre. I was curious, so I just googled if there's multiple endings for Scorn, and there is not. That is the one and only ending, which is kind of what I expected, because, I don't know, it just doesn't feel like the sort of game that would have multiple endings. And, um, well, the one ending we did get was, I think, very nihilistic and just leaves you feeling a bit empty. And I think that's the point, which is why I felt like that's probably why there wouldn't be multiple endings. Yeah, we struggled so hard, but in the end, we just ended up as just another bizarre blob of flesh absorbed into this place, just like everything else. I'm trying to think of what to say about this game. I love it. <laughs> I'm not sure how to talk about it, but I know that I do love it. It's fucked up and disgusting, but beautifully disgusting. And it's also really clever, and it's incredibly well polished. Everything about it, just the from the art direction to the sound design to just the concepts and how well realized everything is. And it does so many interesting things. I, just a couple off the top of my head, the whole ammo and weapon or tool system and how it attaches and detaches and how the, the ammo gets loaded into your essentially inventory and also into your weapons, if you can call them that. That whole thing is just fascinating. The way the puzzles somehow fit in with the world perfectly and feel like they, they just fit. The fact that this creature attaches to literally attaches to your back and becomes your third and fourth hand, which acts as your inventory system while also being a parasite on your body, taking it over, is just brilliant. That's brilliant. <laughs> That's such a unique idea, and it's so well realized. Yeah, this, this was a beautiful, fucked up thing. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I don't know why they didn't roll the credits at the end of the game, but I'm going to. So, thank you so much for watching.